history going back to the days of Roman occupation. In the centre lies the great abbey, beside the remains of the Roman temple and baths, considered to be the finest of their kind in Britain. For 350 years, under the name of Aquae Sulis, the Romans enjoyed a highly civilized health resort built around the springs of hot mineral water that still rise into the baths and pump rooms. There followed a long gap in the city's history until the abbey and church buildings were built in 1499. It was not until the 18th century that Bath again became a fashionable resort for London gentry who came down to take the waters and eventually built whole streets of houses with full Regency splendour. is one of the many fine shopping centres in Bath. Marianne is hungry for some of the famous biscuits which take their name from the city. Jill looks for something gay to wear. of the Georgian terraces found in London, sets of houses on a hill lead up to the sweeping classical curve of Royal Crescent. These were the homes of many 18th and 19th century citizens who moved from London and established a gay and civilized way of life in the West Country. Notable Bath residents included Robert Clive and the Earl of Chatham, and among men of letters, Burke, Goldsmith, Sheridan, Scott and Wordsworth.